on this basis methods of random sampling are classified into the following groups two major groups are unrestricted restricted unrestricted restricted unrestricted is sometimes also called simple method it is also called simple method within restricted group it is divided into three categories stratified <coughs> stratified cluster stratified cluster and systematic stratified cluster and systematic so broadly then we have unrestricted stratified cluster and systematic let us now explain each separately so first we take unrestricted random sampling in unrestricted we also call it simple random sampling entire universe is taken as one unit 2000 bachche hain 2000 bachchon ka ek unit ho gaya and selection is made on random basis random ka waisa matlab kya hota hai को खास मेथड नहीं अपनाया आपने जस्ट ड्रॉ ऑफ लॉट्स मैंने कहा कार्ड्स में से निकाल लो 200 सौ कार्ड निकाल लो नाउ दिस ड्रॉ ऑफ लॉट्स कैन आल्सो बी ऑन मेनी बेसिस वी विल टेक अप ईच चिट्स बना ली कार्ड्स बना लिए आपने लेकिन इसके लिए अब एक स्पेशलाइज टेबल आती है रेंडम नंबर टेबल इज अ वेरी बिग टेबल मेनी पेजेस रेंडम नंबर टेबल now what is a random number table we will take a bit shortly how to use it random number table the, a small example of random number table is this note that these numbers are not in order these numbers are not in order how to use this table you have elements 2000 elements 
अरेंज एलिमेंट्स इन सम ऑर्डर एलिमेंट्स को किसी ऑर्डर के अंदर अरेंज करो अरेंज एलिमेंट्स इन सम ऑर्डर दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप वट कैन बी द ऑर्डर इट कैन बी डेट ऑफ एडमिशन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इट कैन बी एल्फाबेटिकली अकॉर्डिंग टू नेम्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स once you have arranged all the 2000 students in some order and the random table is before us random table has columns these are called columns if you see from up to down and these are rows i have written only few just to give you an example one page of the table is in the book these are uh, these are uh, columns agar yahan se padhna shuru kare agar aise padhna shuru kare to ye hoga rows these are rows <coughs> so we can start either from column or from rows we can start from here like this and go like this we can start from here and go like this there is another choice you need not start from here you can start from here and then go like this you can start from there and then go like this you can start from anywhere in the table and proceed further then how to select these are five digit numbers remember but we we have to select only our number is four digit our number is four digit in this way or in this situation how do we compromise the rule is ignore the last digit so ignore four you ignore four so what do you read if you start from here what do you read 1328 there are 2000 students somebody must be numbered 1328 select that you move to the next what do you find you also ignore four here what do you find it is more than 2000 just ignore this number isko chhod do similarly you can ignore this number also because it is more than 2000 move to the next you take 0019 you take the 19th student you take the 19th student in the list like that you can go on similarly you can proceed with the for example if you move this way you ignore this and this number is in your table adopt this you ignore this and your number is in the table it take it you ignore this but this number is not your table forget about it this number is not in your table forget about it this number is in your table take it like this select all the numbers which are in the list of universe which match with your list and go on rejecting which do not match with your list this table is very long one of the pages of this table is printed in the book you have only to explain the method 
we are not going to ask to choose the sample and all that. So let me repeat, you can start from anywhere in the table. Suppose we start from here, our number is 4 digit, but this is 5 digit, ignore this. Take first 4 digits, if they match with your universe, take it, otherwise reject it. In this way, you can, in this way you can use this random table. This was about unrestricted random sample. Now we come to restricted random sample. Ab restricted shabd ka matlab kya hai? What does it mean? Restrict karna, confine karna. We can say putting some conditions. Conditions attached during the process of selection. Is type ka lena hai, is type ka nahi lena hai. It will all depend upon your purpose and the methodology you want to adopt. We have already seen that there are three types of restricted random samples. Stratified, cluster, systematic. Let us take first stratified. Stratified random sample. Ye stratified jo shabd hai strata se bana hai. S T R A T A. Strata. Strata means groups. So you can always say grouped random sample. Strata. So what is being done? The universe, 2000 students, subdivided into groups. I told you 40 sections of 50 students each. Now, what is the characteristics of group? There should be homogeneity within the group, within a strata. Homogeneity se kya matlab hai? Lagbhag ek jaise. Not all ek jaise, lagbhag ek jaise. So, if you take a section of let us say fifth class, it's likely that nearly all the students must be of the same age, nearly the same age, same height, similar heights and all that. So, there is great homogeneity within the class. But there should be marked differences between groups, between sections, between status. For example, if section of fifth class student, you can't compare it with tenth class student, there will be marked differences between the two in their age, in their heights, in their understanding, in so many things. Then once you have made divided the universe into groups. The next natural step is stack, select items for sampling from each strata. Select items for sampling from each strata. What are the ways of selecting items? One way is proportional. You have to select, let us say, five students from each section of 50 students. That is proportional, 10 percent. From each, 10 percent from each. Then there will be fixed number from each. Now, this fixed number does not mean that you select 5 from each. It is disproportionate. 
एक सेक्शन 40 का है वहां से भी पांच ले लिए एक सेक्शन 50 का है वहां से भी पांच ले लिए ये डिसप्रपोर्शनेट हो गया तो यू कैन सेलेक्ट आइदर ऑन प्रपोर्शनेट बेसिस और डिसप्रपोर्शनेट बेसिस If you compare with unrestricted sampling, there is no grouping in the unrestricted sampling. There is grouping in the restricted sampling, stratified random sampling. Then we come to the second cluster. Random sampling. Cluster also means groups. Strata also means groups. Cluster also means groups. But a, a different name is given because the method of selection is slightly different as compared to stratified. In in this also. first step subdivide pop universe into clusters or groups cluster or groups ab ye stratified se alag kaise hai in stratified we take a sample from all the groups in cluster sampling we take an additional step suppose there are 50 clusters 50 sections we do not take all the sections first we draw a sample out of 50 sections suppose we we select 20 sections we select 10 sections and then from those 10 sections from those 10 clusters we select students from each cluster so i'm going how is it possible fifth class ke panch section part mein se ek le lo sixth class ke panch section hai part mein se ek le lo like that because all the fifth class students are likely to be similar so you take one instead of all the five there are there are other examples too for example workers in a factories there are say 100 factories we have to make a survey of workers in those factories there is a marked homogeneity between clusters all are producing one one and the same thing so there will be marked homogeneity but within the factory there may be differences between the worker there may be non homogeneity within within the workers that is cluster sampling so how it is different from stratified in stratified we take we divide into groups and we take sample from each group in cluster sampling we also divide into groups but we take sample from selected groups then we come to the third systematic sampling systematic random sampling what is the meaning of systematic systematic means ordered kya matlab hua items in the universe which are are first ordered on some basis यूनिवर्स के जो आइटम्स हैं उनको आपने ऑर्डर किया 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. You go on ordering these items. <coughs> then, suppose there are, you have ordered them into 2,000 students. They have been ordered in some, on some basis. Then you decide. You have to select 200. That is 1 out of every 10. 1 out of every 10. When you have to select 1 out of every 10, it is called sampling interval. The sampling interval is 10, 1 out of every 10. Now how will you start selecting? Say I select 4. I start with 4. That means next student will be 14th, next will be 24th, next will be 34th, next will be 44th, like that. <coughs> so when you select in this way, usko hum bolte hain, sampling start. Isko bolte hain sampling start. So sampling interval, say 1 out of 10. And sampling start, kahan se select karna shuru karenge? You can take 4, you can take 5, you can take 6, you can take 7. Agar 7 se shuru karte hain, 7, 17, 27. Agar 8 se shuru karte hain, 8, 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, 68, like that. You can go on selecting. This is restricted random sampling. So we have talked about stratified random sampling. There was another purposive random sampling. <coughs> purposive random sampling. We have not to say much about this because this is by choice left to investigator jo survey kar raha hai uske upar chhod diya he or she should select on the basis of the characteristics of universe but only thing wanted is he should not be biased not deliberately biased he should or she should select according to the purpose in hand that is purposive sampling. So we have talked about two types of sampling, unrestricted and restricted and then we have purposive sampling. Now let us come to some facts and figures, facts and figures about Sources of data. Let me put it like this official sources. Official sources of data. Official means what? Government. The data which comes from government agencies. Throw Hindustan ke baare mein baat karenge. India ke baare mein baat karenge. कि भाई इंडिया में ये जो डेटा आता है सरकारी लेवल पर ये कहां से आता है आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर देयर इज अ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स इट इज द एपेक्स बॉडी एपेक्स बॉडी से क्या मतलब है एपेक्स का मतलब क्या है सबसे बड़ी 
किस में डेटा कलेक्शन में मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स इसमें बहुत सारी संस्थाएं शामिल हैं आई हैव गिवन यू सब नेम्स अर्लियर सी एस ओ सेंट्रल स्टैटिस्टिकल ऑफिस एन एस एस ओ नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे ऑफिस देन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज ए कंप्यूटर सेंटर कंप्यूटर सेंटर विच कलेक्ट डेटा देन अकाउंट ऑफिस जहां गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के सारे अकाउंट्स रखे जाते हैं लिस्ट इज नॉट येट कंप्लीट देर आर मेनी अदर एजेंसीज रजिस्ट्रार जनरल ऑफ इंडिया पॉपुलेशन सेंसस जो कंडक्ट करते रजिस्ट्रार जनरल ऑफ इंडिया डायरेक्टोरेट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स ये हर स्टेट में अलग अलग होता है दिल्ली में अलग यूपी में अलग पंजाब में अलग डायरेक्टोरेट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे लॉर्ड ऑफ डेटा मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस लॉर्ड ऑफ डेटा विदाउट दैट मिनिस्ट्री कांट वर्क देन एनदर इज नीति आयोग दिस इज अ रिसेंट नेम बट अर्लियर इट वॉज कॉल्ड प्लानिंग कमीशन यू आर यू मस्ट बी फैमिलियर विद दिस वर्ल्ड प्लानिंग कमीशन नोट दैट हिज नेम हैज बीन चेंज फ्रॉम प्लानिंग कमीशन टू नीति आयोग नीति डजेंट मीन पॉलिसी हेयर नीति हेयर मीन्स नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग India N I T I Niti Aayog Niti Aayog cannot move a step without data they require huge data they they also collect data from from various sources then we have another RBI Reserve Bank of India huge huge amount of data particularly on money foreign exchange even on many other aspects of industries agriculture they collect their, their own data then there is another important organization labor bureau labor bureau they collect data on workers once again this list is not exhaustive there are so many so we have just given you examples as a part of your course you are supposed to study two sources in detail one census of india another national sample survey office census of india other national sample survey office let us note a few things details are given in the book of course but let us note a few things about these two official sources 